Ara and Ergo Ainai. I don't know. Um, Ara is a Swiss trio that I was not familiar with uh, before the release of this album. Um, I think they started in 2018, so they're a very, very new project. Um, they already have another full length under their belt, so this is their second release. Um, both of their albums are five tracks, and they're about 40 to 45 minutes long, so, you know, they're very um, focused efforts. Um, this one in particular really stood out to me, even on my first listen. Um, it's got this, you know, otherworldly quality to it um, that, of course, I love in my black metal. And um, something that really, really stood out to me is that it's got a sort of almost orchestral uh, feel to it, and I don't mean that in the sense that they use, you know, orchestral instrumentation, because they don't really at all, um, but rather the, the way that they approach songwriting and song structuring um, feels very orchestral, feels very intentionally inspired by um, chamber music, especially of the, the seven, late 1700s and 1800s. Um, and, you know, even, even the fact that it's five album, or five tracks in a 45 minute album, it almost lends itself to sort of being a, um, five movements, you know, in one overall composition, um, sort of like something you would see in classical music. And, uh, the, the riffs themselves on this record are even, um, almost very Baroque sounding. They're, uh, melodic, um, there's a lot of movement, uh, there's a lot of counterpoint, um, you know, it's, it's a very, very engaging listen, and on top of that, it's not something you see in black metal very often. So, um, as I mentioned, Ara is a trio. Um, very, very mysterious. I don't think their identity has been revealed. Um, it's two two major writers, as far as I can tell, who go by the names Berg and Fuss, which is mountain and river in German. And then they have a drummer, you know, I don't know if he's just a guest drummer or, like, officially part of the band, but, you know, there's just three members of this band, and that lets them have this very focused vision. Um, I'm sure that they're all, you know, on the same page when they, they get in the studio and start writing their music. So, um, something else that really stands out about this record is that it's it's got a very melancholy vibe overall, but it's also uplifting at points. Um, and not uplifting in the sort of, like, you know, satanic triumphant way that you get with a lot of black metal. It's it's uplifting in almost like a, a positive way, which is interesting. Um, the the cover art for this thing grabbed my grabbed my attention right away. It's this very Enlightenment age painting of a man walking through a uh, a town at night. It's just very beautiful, very engrossing. It really draws you in, and that's you know what made me check this record out. Um, but you know, I came for the album art, stayed for the music. Um, thematically, it deals with, uh, again, like I, like I just said, it deals with the Enlightenment Age principles. Um, it's very lofty, very philosophical. Uh, you know, the band goes into a lot of detail with, like, what they're, they're trying to portray with their music, but essentially, in a distilled sense, it's just, um, about humankind sort of, uh, you know, growing as a species, but also facing all these new dilemmas, and, you know, essentially will ha mankind's collective intellect, you know, either downfall or the saving grace, in a way. Um, musically, I mentioned it's very catchy. Um, the riffs are just phenomenal, you know. Just sitting here right now, I can bring, like, three to four, three to four riffs on this thing to my attention right away, or to my memory, rather. Um, very memorable. Every single song on this record has that, like, holy shit moment, you know, where it's just this really compelling, engrossing, memorable bit of music. Um, the vocals as well are just about as high-pitched as any human voice could get. It's just these these absolutely wretched vocals. They're very low in the mix, so it's got this almost ghostly quality to it, which of course, you know, I'm a sucker for. Um, you know, they're not, like, evil-sounding necessarily, but they are just very, like, disembodied. Um, they don't sound like they're right in your face, which is cool. Um, and then the drum work as well is very um, memorable catchy it you know it suits the wrist really well without being overly flashy um there's there aren't really any moments on this record where i'm blown away by the drum work but i think that's a credit rather than you know a drawback um it shows that the drummer is really you know meshed with this music and isn't trying to stand out on his own so overall um i'm you know really 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 fond of this record i've probably listened to it 
a dozen times, if not more, since it released in February, I think. Um, keep coming back to this one. It's amazing. If you haven't heard it yet, you should check it out. Definitely going to be an entry on my year-end list, and I hope you enjoy it.